Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're just going to do a quick little video of me predicting future elections. Fun fact, this was supposed to be the 400 subscriber special. It was going to be a 10 party America election night. And let's just say I couldn't do it. I was 30 minutes in and I had just got to the 8pm poll closings. Yeah, I can't do that. Even though I worked so hard on it, I just don't have the brain capacity to sit there and record a near two hour long video so i don't know what i'm gonna do for the 400 sub special i'll do something i don't know but today we're gonna do predicting future elections from 2024 to 2040 the next five elections in our cycle in our lifetimes i guess um so first 2024 donald trump versus joe biden i do think donald trump will select tennessee senator marsha blackburn as his running mate and I do believe, as of right now, he will defeat Joe Biden 313-225, uh, flipping Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Georgia. Um, some other key things, as you can see here, Texas is safe. It's not a massive win for Donald Trump. It's just a 10-point victory. In New Jersey, again, it's not that impressive. It's likely D. It's a Biden plus 9. Um, New Hampshire uh, is, is uh, once again, a tilt state. The closest state on this map is Georgia, uh, once again. So as we head on to 2028, I do think Ron DeSantis, the former governor of Florida as of this point, um, will be the Republican nominee. And he will select Fort Worth Mayor Matty Parker as his running mate. The first time a mayor has been selected for a major party ticket. And on the Georgia side, I think Georgia Congresswoman, or excuse me, New York Governor Kathy Hochul will win the nomination, and she will select Georgia Congresswoman Lucy McBath, the first all-female ticket in American history. So both tickets have some history behind it. Um, and I do think that the only state that will flip will be Georgia. Georgia will be the only state to flip, and that will be Kathy Hochul flipping Georgia. Uh, the closest state on this map would be Maine at large, so a DeSantis victory does occur from this. Going on to 2032, once again, Republicans will have the DeSantis Parker ticket, and Republic and the Democrats will nominate at this point, I believe, Georgia Governor uh, Kazim Reed and Washington Governor Bob Ferguson as his running mate. And I do believe that no states will flip, or excuse me, only one state will flip, and that will be Maine at large, and it will be once again the closest state this cycle. Um, however, as you can see, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Delaware all become competitive as of 2032. Wisconsin, you know, is a, you know, a likely Republican. Kansas and South Carolina become competitive this cycle as well. And as we go to 2036, Vice President Maddie Parker will be selected by the Republicans as the nominee, and I do believe she will select Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as her running mate. And for the Democrats, they'll nominate the most far-left candidate in history, nominating uh, New York Senator at this point, I believe, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and with California Governor Ro Khanna, or former California Governor or California Senator, he won't be stuck as a congressman, I doubt it. But as you can see here, DeSantis, uh, well, AOC will actually flip Maine at large, as you can see. She will flip Maine at large. Um, but however, Florida is safe Republican. Pennsylvania is likely Republican. Missouri actually becomes competitive this cycle. New Jersey becomes more competitive, as is now lean Democrat. Uh, but of course, only one state flips, and that's Maine at large. And the most competitive state is New Mexico. Um, yes, New Mexico out of all states. Uh, next up, 2040. I do believe this will be when the next recession occurs. It will be in between the 2036 and 2040 elections. And, of course, I do think that the other New York senator, Chelsea Clinton, yes, Clinton, another Clinton will be president. I do think it will be Chelsea Clinton. And she will choose former North Carolina congressman Heath Schuller as her running mate. Or some other Southern Democrat that's moderate. I'm not sure. But this will be a Democrat victory. Uh, we will have so a long stretch of Republican rule. However, the Democrats with Chelsea Clinton will, you know, end this. Um, as you can see here, Chelsea Clinton flips Arizona, Michigan, Pennsylvania. She flips North Carolina and South Carolina and comes close to flipping Texas, Wisconsin, and Nevada, but doesn't uh, do it. Um, so this is what I believe all five, what the next five elections will look like. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Tell me down in the comments below. This is the Catacorn saying, peace.